All right, we have a lot of heat. Eventually we'll have a higher rain chance heading toward the weekend and then we're also covering a more active tropic scene. Not surprising considering we're getting toward the end of August now, but no tropical threats for us along the northern Gulf Coast. Just more action farther out in the Atlantic at this point. Instead, we're just kind of sizzling today. We have our heat advisory in effect till 7 to air temperatures. Not actually as bad as they could be right now. Lower 90s are feels like temperatures, at least in some spots, not quite into the triple digits yet, but a lot of spots will be sizzling in the triple digits for those heat indices this afternoon and probably tomorrow afternoon. Another pretty hot day. Radar is mostly quiet, but we've seen some rain set up here near Leeville, a little shower near Chauvin, and not far from Grand Isle and Port Fouchon, south of Cocodri, a little thunderstorm, so mostly happening very far south and out over the northern Gulf as far as any little bit of rain that we have right now. I have our rain chance today about 20 or 30 percent. Our high temperature could once again be stuck around 95, 96. The past couple of days we've been in the upper 90s for highs, and then we'll be back in the 80s this evening with 70s overnight. Quick glance at our model here. This is by 3 p.m. At least a few spotty showers and storms you could hope for. 5 p.m. Not all that much rain around, probably for those of you commuting around 5. This is 8 p.m. A shower or two might still be wrapping up. And then overnight looks quiet and predictably muggy and a kind of humid feeling for the first part of tomorrow. And let's be real through the entire day tomorrow. This is by 5 p.m. tomorrow. Not that much rain expected as high pressure stays in charge. But I'll show you our setup, which changes a little bit in the coming days and toward the weekend. First, we'll cover Hurricane Aaron quickly, a big storm. It has really just expanded in size as we were looking for it to do so. And that means even though it is not going to directly hit the U.S. or Bermuda or indeed the Caribbean islands where it has been brushing past over the past several days, even though there's no direct strike, it is going to bring some impacts to the Outer Banks and the outside the coastal spots of North Carolina, it looks like, and eventually will pass and get kind of shunted off to the east pretty quickly here with this tight curve away from the northeast U.S. due to some upper level winds here, a jet stream guiding it out. Our European model, for example, showing the storm continuing to the north here, and this might be the roughest time early Thursday, so Wednesday night, early Thursday for around North Carolina. We will also see a trough of low pressure guiding this next surface front across the eastern part of the U.S. as well. And then again, this will get caught up in those high winds in the upper atmosphere, taking it away from the northeast U.S. and out over the northern Atlantic while we continue with that front settling near us. Unfortunately, not bringing cooler air or drier air for us, but helping with rain chances. Now, some people across the northeastern part of the U.S. and even along other parts of the East Coast will eventually get some dry air uh, kind of swirling in around Aaron as it continues out to the east. But for us, it's just going to enhance our rain chance, it looks like, this weekend and help our temperatures come down a little bit, mainly because of the clouds and rain. Two other spots are out behind Aaron in the tropics. Here is one, and it is not an organized system at all. This is one tropical wave. 60% chance now of developing, though. The next name on the list is Fernand. And then we have another wave coming out just now emerging from the coast of Senegal here near the Cabo Verde Islands. This one a 30% low chance of development. But just to kind of give you a look at where these might end up, first of all, this one might take a path. That's Aaron, similar to Aaron. We're looking here at rotation in the atmosphere, that kind of spin that would be associated with a tropical system. Notice this next system, the one out farther, uh, may just still be a messy slug of moisture and this one might actually drift farther south, so might end up just bringing some messy moisture over to South America or maybe eventually into the extreme Southern Caribbean Sea. While look at this next system with a 60% chance of development, this might take a path similar to Aaron or maybe even farther out in the Atlantic, so maybe fewer problems for the extreme eastern coast of North Carolina, but also maybe a few more problems potentially for Bermuda in terms of rain or some gusty winds. The steering is going to be similar to Aaron. Big high pressure here. Another one over the southeastern U.S. and Gulf of Mexico, so that might give it that weakness, that same one that Aaron is uh, tapping into, and then eventually guide it out to the north from those strong upper level winds farther to the north. So for us, no tropical threats, maybe even if models are correct in the longer term, uh, all the way through the end of August potentially, and our seven day forecast shows instead we just get to enjoy a few more showers and storms by Friday and Saturday. Thankfully, bringing those temperatures maybe back to about average or even a touch below average for this point in August.
You may have